Hello, I am Alperen Berber. This is the presentation video of my graduation project, the two envelope problem for the bivariate Gaussian distribution. In this project, my supervisor was Professor Dr. Berkan Dudek. The project provides solutions to a probability problem. This problem may be encountered in some fields such as telecommunications, detection and estimation theories. The problem is best described in its original context. Suppose that we are playing a game. I am the croupier of the game and you are the player. As the croupier, I have two envelopes. I put a sample from the random variable omega into one of the envelopes and a sample from the random variable z into the other envelope. Here it is given that omega and z are jointly Gaussian and as the player you are equipped with the knowledge of the joint PDF of omega and z. However, the envelopes are indistinguishable. Hence, you don't know which envelope contains the sample of which random variable. Now I provide you these two closed envelopes and ask you to pick one of them. Here, we model your behavior mathematically. You are going to pick the envelope that contains the sample of omega with probability pi or the envelope that contains the sample of z with probability 1 minus pi. After picking an envelope and observing the value written in it, you have two options. You can either stick with your first observation or you can switch to the other envelope and be with the value written in it. If you decide to switch, you cannot go back to your first observation. At the end, if you have a positive value, I'm going to give you the value as money. For example, if you ended up with 10, I'm going to give you $10. And if you ended up with a negative value such as minus 5, you need to pay $5 to me. Now with the whole information of the game and your first observation, should you switch or stay and end up with your first observation? In the project, we tried to devise optimal decision rules to be used in this stay or switch action. Before diving into solution methodology, I should note that from this point on, we use random variables x and y, which represents the observed and unobserved envelopes respectively. The joint PDF of x and y can be found by using the joint PDF of omega and z, such as shown here. We have two different approaches to find the optimal decision rule. In the first approach, we focus on maximizing the probability of getting the higher amount written inside the two envelopes. First, we define a cost function which penalizes the player if he or she ends up with the lower amount. When we take the expectation of this function, we see that it contains a term which is immutable plus a term which is mutable by decision rule phi. We should pick a decision rule which minimizes this expectation since we don't want to, don't want to get penalty as the player. The optimal decision rule which minimizes the expectation is given here. It simply states that if the median value of this conditional PDF is greater than 1 over 2, switch and don't switch if this condition is not met. Once we obtain the optimal decision rule, we compared it with non-optimal decision rules, one of which is proposed by cover as using a monotonically decreasing function as a decision rule. Q function might be an example of cover's proposal. In our MATLAB simulations, we have seen that the optimal decision rule provided the lowest costs in all different conditions. It is the lowest plot shown here, which gave the lowest cost in all different conditions. In the second approach, we focus on maximizing the expected amount from the decision. We define a gain function R, which simply models what the player will end up in different conditions defined by delta. When the when we take the expectation of the gain function, we see a similar case to that of the first approach. We have a term which is changeable and a term which is not changeable by the decision rule delta. The optimal rule which minimizes the expectation is given here. It simply says that if the mean value of this conditional PDF is greater than the observation, switch and don't switch if this condition is not met. Again, we compared it with Cover's proposal and in all different conditions, our optimal decision rule provided the best result, namely the best gain. Um, hence, we showed that the optimal decision rules we derived are, the, are providing the best results in their own context. This concludes our study. Thanks for watching.